mixed martial arts just like every combat sport mixed into one like karate, boxing, any martial art, any movement, human movement like capoeira it's more like a dance sort of a thing and you just fit it in because I had my first five when I was 13 I think I started training when I was 12 and then when I was like 14 I really wanted to like I just fell in love with it so I did and then I, I was like this is what I want to do SPG is like the best gym I've ever been in like John as a coach is like something could be like the most difficult thing you'll like see and he can like make it as simple as flipping pouring a glass of water when I started fighting I got an offer to compete in South Africa and um, at this stage there were, I didn't have a gym name it was just John Calvin and martial arts and it's all sort of figuring things out. I didn't have a coach, but it was actually on this trip that I met Matt Thornton, who went on to become my coach. Um, he's the head of Straight Blast Gym International. Um, kind of almost ironically, he was coaching my, uh, he was cornering my opponent, but uh, we became friends afterwards. That was November about 12 years ago, and the following summer he came to Ireland to teach some seminars at my gym, and I guess SBG Ireland became official. So I've been with him ever since. Ooh every part of it especially fighting like competing against someone like a uh, testing your skill against someone else's and everyone moves different everyone has their own style and just to be able to go in and like use your style to counter his and really take someone's head off in the ring is a beautiful feeling i think connor has raised the consciousness um level of the country towards mixed martial arts I remember it was during last summer, it wasn't long after Connor's injury, and I was in a random news agent, and this woman was in her 60s, and she was serving me, and she stopped, and she went, are you Connor McGregor's coach? And I was like, yeah, and she's like, oh, how's his knee? And it was kind of then I realized the sport was getting big, when there's like a 60-year-old lady asking me about his knee. As a coach, I always get a good feeling out of my fighters doing well in competitions, but being honest, the, the bigger stories for me are usually... Some guy has joined, maybe he's a little bit older, and after a couple of weeks, he notices that he's starting to lose a little bit of weight, he's getting, he's found a new sport. And usually it's just like a private message from them on Facebook to say, hey, thanks, this has made a big impact on my life. And that gives me a better feeling. The joys of like winning is like, it's, there's nothing comparable to it. The best thing you'll ever experience, just to know that, that you're able to like fold another human being and for my case it's always like since I'm so young I've always been fighting men at like 27 mid 20s like huge man standing across looking to take my head off and then be like going and fold him within I don't know, a few minutes is incomparable to that <laughs>